That's remember the first time I discovered the walnuts over here to make the nachino, these walnuts. I'm like, where the hell am I gonna find these walnuts? And one day I'm driving and I see these walnuts hanging, and I see the tree, and I just went like this. I'm like, oh my God, these are all walnut trees. Just like that. You know, and that's, that's the thing is, you constantly are rediscovering, and it's constantly about um, making it fresh and exciting for you again. I think that's what got me excited. That's why going to the farmer's market, slowing down every once in a while, I'd be like, oh my God, what is that? I mean, anytime I find something, that's one of the reasons why I got into forging, is I felt like, okay, I'd done the farmer's market pretty solidly for five years. I was looking for some new inspiration. I was looking for something new, and new flavors, and new aromatics, and found it here, and that ignited that, you know? I had grown up with an alcoholic mother, pretty bad alcoholism. It was very destructive. I remember even going on dates, I couldn't even smell alcohol in a woman's breath. It was that dramatic and traumatic. But what happened was a year and a half into making the drinks, you know, people were taking pictures and they were smelling them and they were really curious about the name and there was something deeper going on and I realized what I was doing was I was re-scripting my relationship to alcohol and I was making it something that was beautiful, something that you savored. And in no time, in that time, I had all that whole negative feeling had disappeared, it dissipated, because I now changed my relationship to it. Listen, I love the effects of alcohol, and I love that, I love certain alcohols, but that is not something that I spend my time seeking. What I spend my time seeking is everything else that goes with the alcohol. So why not take that and expand that? Now I have two gardens that I grow things for. I forage here in mostly the Malibu Mountains, and I go to the farmer's market. And at one point I did have my own bees just to produce my own honey. And that's one of the reasons why I started growing my own things in my garden was not just to have access to that, not just to make grow something that was not being grown and that was unusual, but it was really to appreciate, and this is, I literally feel this very strongly, is to really appreciate what the, what's the process of this? What is the journey of these things? What, the, what do these farmers go through to make this happen? I got to really, really appreciate this, the seasons, you know? It's like, I would be sad when those apricots are gone for three weeks, those Blenheims. I would be sad when I wouldn't see um, those shallot flowers, you know? But how great is that when it comes and seven months later, that pops up again and it's like you're seeing it for the first time. That is the constant reminder. That's the constant reminder of so many things in life that come and go, that are just part of a season, or, you know, people get depressed if it rains, I mean, it's going to be sunny again, you know what I mean? And nature really is the greatest example of things. You know, every, to me, everything is an art. Everything is grace. Everything is, um, you know, should have that kind of uh, attention. I'm Matthew Bianconello, and I'm a bartender from Los Angeles.